Hello everybody, it is Anita here, so I'm just holding this up. So I'm starting the 30 day challenge today. I made a promise to make a commitment to come live 30 days with lots of different topics, lots of different challenges, lots of different problems. And as predicted, when we do these things, tests coming our way. And I've had a few today. I've had a few challenges today. I won't go into all of them because I want to keep these lives to around five minutes. So they're really sharp and effective for you. Um, one of the challenges you may see is that I've got a little bit of a sore throat and a cold. Um, so if you don't know who I am, I'm Anita. I'm coming in live from Singapore um, from my uh, shop house here, which is a little bit messy. So I won't... <laughs> I won't do a full view for you just yet. Um, and we're having a bit of rainy days, so um, pretty wild. I've got my notes here, that's what I'm looking at. To try to keep to the five minutes, okay? Um, it might go a little bit over because I'll be explaining a little bit of stuff now. Um, but this is a 30 day challenge, fast cash to freedom, freedom based on the liberate me system, okay? And it will all make more sense. I've been asking you for your suggestions. What is it that you would like to learn about? What do you have questions about? And feel free to keep feeding in because I'm gonna be creating these as I go. So you've got an opportunity, a golden opportunity to really get some help that you, you may require and get some shifts over this time. So, um, Today, I'm going to talk, so I suggested a subject, and I think um, Soraya, when you see this, and a few others, said this is one that they wanted to talk about, and I know it's a big one for a lot of us, is um, I'm going to talk about the importance of not needing external validation. In other words, stop. Care how do you stop caring what other people think um, and get to a point where you believe that anything is possible, okay? That you're not impacted by that, okay? Um, so how to stop querying and also to understand how it gets in your way in terms of fast cash, freedom, liberation, feeling confident, having self-belief. So it gets in the way of all of those things, okay? It really disrupts us, eh? whether it's um, family we're caring about, what they think, um, whether it's colleagues. So. Tell me, you know, how much does it affect you on a scale of one to 10? How, how much what others think of you, whether they like you or don't like you, yeah? Um, and I'm gonna share with you some simple tools, some processes, some strategy uh, to stop, to stop caring what others think so much, not in a way that makes you a bitch, <laughs> right? Or a horrible person, but in a way that allows you to be empowered and doesn't stop you from being fulfilled confident and happy and getting the respect that you really deserve in life in all areas of life because sadly and this is the truth you know here's a, a story from my story is you know i'm definitely a recovering people pleaser right um i used to be someone um you know i was such a pleaser i wanted my i come from a uk born indian family very strict upbringing things have changed since then for me um, self-made changed but um, you know I was such a people pleaser that I was really wanting to please my mother and make her very proud of me and get her approval and I thought that if I got that that would make me happy right I went so far that I stayed in an abusive relationship um, um, for five years and that it went beyond that for me you know it went into into the workplace and the corporate world where I would allow myself to get bullied and belittled, even though I was in very successful positions as a director. Um, I just slowed, I was just trying to please people. So I would make other people's emotions my emotions. Um, and tell me if you recognize this, give me some hearts, give me some likes, or if you're on the replay, give me a hashtag replay and let me know. You know, I would make their emotions my emotions. So if they were upset or if they were stressed, it, you know, it was somehow felt like it was my fault or um, I would take it on as if it was my emotion. Um, I would make their to-do list my, my to-do list. So if they had problems or things that they wanted to get sorted, suddenly that was the most important thing in the world. Um, I would make um, their feelings my feelings, okay? Well, I couldn't separate the two, yeah? Um, because it affected me so much. So let me know if that makes sense. So, um, 
So I was really pretending to be something I was not to be like. Sometimes I didn't even like these people myself, right? I mean, that didn't even come into my head. But I just, I was so impacted by um, what they had to say about me. Um, and now, how did I, you know, get to a point where I stopped caring what other people thought? How did I get to a point where um, I... I wasn't impacted that, about that anymore. So to me, I realized by doing that, I was folding myself up over and over again, making myself smaller and smaller and smaller to try to fit in, uh, please others, get them to like me, um, no matter what, at any cost. And the cost was severe, right? I said in the wrong career for 18 years, um, I didn't discover my gift. So this is what it's blocking you from. We've all got a gift within us. Yeah, that can be monetized. That's where the fast cash comes from. We've all got that within us. Yeah, and that's what we're pushing down um, in in favor of um, getting people to like us. I mean, the cost of that mentally, emotionally, physically, financially is freaking huge. And the reason I was doing it is because I believed that I would get their love and respect um, and that would make me happy. And it didn't. And actually, those people didn't love and respect me very much at all, right? And I used to wonder why that was, you know, why that was when I'm bending over freaking backwards trying to please them, yeah? Um, and I realized it's because I had no respect for myself. I had no real love for myself, okay? Uh, and no matter what, even though these people, you know, they were family, friends, colleagues, bosses, where this was happening to me, even though, um, you know, some of these people care about me and love me till this day, you know, but what happens is, is that there's a bit of a higher power going on, that we are being brought these situations to us, so we can heal ourselves, um, and there are actually opportunities for us to go, hold on a minute, I don't freaking respect myself. I don't know what makes me happy. I don't even like myself. I don't even know what makes me happy. I'm looking for permission outside of myself constantly. And that's what it made me realize that until I um, have that for myself, I am never gonna receive that from the outside. I'm never gonna be attractive to um, that kind of behavior, yeah? Whether it's in um, partners, men, um, colleagues, bosses, friends, I'm never going to be attractive to, you know, um, behavior where I'm going to be respected, loved, you know, because I don't have any self-confidence of my own that just comes from me that says I'm enough as I am, yeah? So the first, I think the biggest light bulb mo moment for me or light, you know, really, where it really changed for me um, was when I got at the end of those five years of my um, abusive, physically abusive relationship where I was married for five years. Um, and I didn't um, tell my mum about that specifically. I didn't tell her about it. Um, and then it hit me like a bolt of lightning. What the frick am I doing, right? Um, why am I playing so small? You know, and I was very successful on the surface. I had it all, right? You know, the car, the amazing house, all of that, okay? Um, the great job, you know, I did everything to get this approval from the outside. I ticked all the freaking boxes, yet inside I was not very happy. And I didn't feel really grateful either because I should be happy, right? Because <laughs> I ticked all the boxes that say you should be happy. And everything anyone used to say about me or if they didn't like me would affect me so much that I, like I say, I would make their feelings, their thoughts, their to-do lists as if they were my own because I had no self-respect. I didn't think I was enough just as I was. I was, we all are, so are you. Um, so that defining moment was when I decided enough is enough and I'm saying no to toxic relationships. I'm saying no to portraying myself at the cost of you know people looking badly on me. So getting divorced as a UK born Indian at the time was, was really um, frowned upon. Um, and you know, like a shame on the family and things like that at the time, you know. Um, so it was huge for me to to take that leap and say, I'm filing for divorce. And not only that, to let my mother know. Uh, and this was the difference. And here is your tip and tool and strategy. So get a pen, write this down. 
for the first time ever, I didn't ask for permission. I didn't explain myself. I decided within myself that I am taking radical responsibility, yeah? Um, to say yes to myself, yes to finding out who I am, what I love, um, and no to anything else, no matter what the consequences were. Even if that meant people didn't like me for a while, or their opinions were not good of me, yeah? Um, and it started with facing one of my biggest um, demons, really, my mother. I mean, we all want our parents to be proud of us, right? Uh, and approve of what we do. It's just natural, right? It's just, uh, sorry, <laughs> getting a bit painful holding this phone. Um, it's just freaking natural. That's what we all want, you know, and I'm no different from anyone else. Um, but that day I took my power back. I stepped into myself. I stopped betraying myself. I showed myself self-respect for the very first time. Um, and I said to my mother, I got her to meet me in a pub, which is on my kind of ground, not her kind of ground. And just said, look, you're not going to like what I'm about to say. I'm not asking for your approval, your permission. If you're able to give some support, that would be nice, but I'm not looking for it. I'm just letting you know that the shit's going to hit the fan. You're not going to like this, but I'm getting divorced. My husband has been physically abusing me for five years. And I was shocked at the reaction because I had been like hiding this, trying to get my mom to like me, trying to get approval, trying to be something I wasn't, making her thoughts, feelings, and all of that things mine and that was spreading out all over my life where that was happening friends family work you know because it's a domino effect when we're like this right it really compounds us and in that moment i stopped it in in my first step if you like of liberation uh because i didn't ask her for permission and i was shocked because i would have thought she was going to turn around to me and say you are complete shame of the family you're shame to your dad I can't believe you're doing this. I don't want to know you. Whatever. You know, my mum wasn't um, <laughs> the best sometimes. Uh, you'll hear more about my story if you know me. And if you don't, then uh, get on my group. And I'm, there's lots more in there. And I'm happy to share. I'm releasing more on that as I go as well. Um, I digress. The point is, is that I didn't ask for permission. I didn't um, look to explain myself. And actually her response was, of course. I understand I can be there for you. And I was like, huh? Huh? <laughs> you're, you're, you're saying you're going to support me in this? I was like, what? I've just spent the last 20 years, 10 years at least, and definitely the last five, trying to get your approval, trying to get you to think good things of me, like me, get your validation. And I was doing this all over my life, in my, in my work, and I was having an impact there, in my relationships with men, obviously, and friends, everywhere. So have a look where it's turning up for you. And I'm going to invite you, rather than asking for permission in your life, where can you let someone know this is just the way it is and uh, I'm letting go? You know, I'm, And the reason she responded differently to me was because I respected myself for the first time, right? I said I'm worthy. I said I'm valuable. I said I, will, I like me. I like me, your, your like is an extra like, right? Um, I don't need your like, right? It's a nice to have, that's nice. But first thing is I gotta like me, right? It's like, like you, wake up in the morning and let yourself know, well, I gotta like me, yeah? I can't live my life worrying about if everybody else likes me, yeah? If you do that, it will block every gift you have, okay? Your access to liberation, freedom, the beauty in you, right? It will just be dimmed. It will just be dimmed, okay? So that's something we work on. So I hope that's been helpful. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Sorry, I'm just struggling with the phone. It's a bit painful, I'm holding it in my hand. I'm gonna try to get a tripod if we're doing this for 30 days together. Yeah, so that's what changed. So instead of looking for permission or approval from someone, let them know. That's just the way it is, okay? And have your like come from you, okay? So that's, take that tool and see how you can use it in your life now. If you've got any questions, you need any help with that on a specific situation, feel free to reach out in the comments. Feel free to reach out and PM me. And hey, look, if you enjoyed this little video today, and I'm going to be coming live, like I say, for 30 days, um, and you want some help in how to stop being impacted so much by what others think, 
whether they like you or not, to stop people pleasing to some degree. Um, I'm opening up some spaces in my coaching calendar next week. Uh, and it's a great time before Christmas and New Year when sometimes we have to face some of these people uh, and we're more um, vulnerable to those situations, right? Uh, I think you, you, you may know what I mean if this is something that you're experiencing, okay? Uh, and you will either just, I will put a calendar link up here so you can book a session with me next week. It's free. This one's on me. And we can discuss, maybe we can work together. You may be invited to work with me, maybe not, depends if you're fit. Either way, you're gonna walk away with some great insights and nuggets and breakthroughs to help you move forward and have a transformation, okay? In this area, and this is a domino effect that will affect everything. So how much cash you will earn, whether you're gonna stay in a dead end job, um, improving a relationship you're in, attracting love, all of this, this is what it's blocking. So what? Once you move this out of the way, and, and I mean, it was a freaking game changer for me to stop caring about what others think. Even coming live here, I mean, I've got no makeup on, I've got a bit of a cold, and you know, I wouldn't have done this before, let alone share stuff like this. Um, but it's coming from my heart because I know that the truth sets us free. And actually what happens is when you have self-respect, self-love, and you like yourself, number one, you'll find that others respect you more too, right? And you're liked for who you actually are, not a pretend fake version of you that's trying to be liked at any cost to you. And I think you know that the the effects of that are can be very severe, okay? Um, just listening to some of mine, and I'm sure you can fill into yourself some of the stories that you have. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go because my throat is sore, so I'm gonna rest it until I come live again tomorrow. Um, and I let me know anything else you want me to cover in these 30 days, uh, and I'll be happy to do so. Any, I would love to have your questions so I can really serve you as well. So yeah, share those with me. Uh, go ahead and book yourself a session if you're, I mean, if you know you want this and you're afraid, um, let yourself have this. I would love to talk to you and help you personally because I know this can be hard. I get it, I've been there. You know, I didn't always used to be this person that would come live and tell stories like this. So I totally get it, okay? And share with me one thing that you got out of this video today. If nothing else, do that for yourself. Share with me one thing in the comments below to say, you know what, I learned this today. Even that tiny piece can shift you and then take an action. The tool I would love you to use is take an action on not asking for permission or approval, instead just letting someone know, okay? And liking yourself first, okay? I love you so much. I will share this onto my personal profile and onto my um, group as well. So for those of you watching it there, hashtag replay and let me know your thoughts. Speak to you tomorrow.